I'm going to tell you five simple tips to improve yourself as a graphic designer in 2022. So let's jump right in. Hello everyone, how is it going? Welcome and welcome back to another video. So if this is your first time here, consider subscribing because we make videos around graphic design. And please watch this video till the very end because I have a special offer for you guys and you can't afford to miss it. So the very first tip I have to share is this. Try something new in 2022. So you know you can't do the same thing every time and get different results. In 2022, there will be high demand for 3D designs and motion designs. So update yourself and stay up to date with design trends. Try learning new things and don't make your comfort zone your friend. Now here is what I'm talking about. If you were using older versions of design software try new versions if you were using old model gadgets try new models and if you were using two tools to design try advancing to five or six tools to design in general all you have to do is try something new the second tip I have to share is this set goals for yourself and give milestones to achieve each goals here is what I mean for example you set a goal to know how to use a particular design tool. You can set milestones like how to get the tool and learning how to use the tool. So gradually you will definitely achieve your goal. If you like this video, click on the like button below and feel free to comment your thoughts on the comments on what you think a graphic designer should do to improve in 2022. Next on my list, never allow a day to end without learning something new. Trust me, do this for 365 days we have in 2022 and you'll realize at the end of 2022, you have learned 365 new things. Please ensure to share this video with other graphic designers. Let's affect lives together in 2022. Next on my list, seek for a mentor. Don't get me wrong, I never said seek for a teacher. A teacher is different from a mentor. A teacher, also called a school teacher or formal and educator, is a person who helps students to acquire knowledge competence or virtue while a mentor is a person who has professional and life experience and who voluntarily agrees to help a mentee develop skills competencies or goals in most cases i get a lot of dms from people asking me can you teach me design from scratch or can you show me how to do a particular thing? Now, here is where we get it all wrong. If you have an idea and you are a self-taught designer just like me, there are tons of resources everywhere online to help you out. All you need to do is go search for those resources, read them, study them, watch them and practice them. Then at this point, you can show your mentor your progress and he or she will assess you to see how far you have gone and probably will show you on the next step to take. Never tell your mentor to teach you anything. I mean anything and here is why. Your mentor do not have all the time in the world to sort things out for you. You are supposed to sort them out yourself and show your progress to your mentor. If your mentor cares, it will enlighten you more than you expected. Most people lose the attention of their mentor for a fact that they compel their mentor too much and most times they want to be spoon fed. You can learn from your mentor without even asking for their opinion on anything. Yes, I mean it, you can learn from them without asking them anything. Maybe in the way they do things or by following their updates. And here is a special one from my very own mentor Manuel Sanketa from Kata Graphics. Never get too familiar with your mentor else you Every get into your mentor and you may not know in when the you insult or the social disrespect. media have a source. Okay? Everyone. Everyone have a source. Anyone that doesn't have a source that tell you that they didn't have anyone that teach them. It's still possible but that person suffered it most, spent most money before they get there okay for instance it's me i have to waste a couple more years i've spent lots of years more than 10 years in this and that's because i don't have a mentor if i had a mentor it would have been very easy for me but the, for the best practice with what we have now and how the world is moving so fast man you need to move very fast with it i talked to one of my students this morning he is fond of 
making designs after i finish reviewing his designs he will start tagging other professional designers like all these popular foreign designers he will start tagging them his instagram handle putting at this at this but he won't even mention me that suffered for more than two three days to review his work because i don't review work just a day you can't just review for instance Josh reviewing someone after that he's giving glory to somebody else that is why you see many designers don't just i'm writing an article on that which i'll be publishing tomorrow so why most designers or most professional designers don't mentor upcoming designers and that's the problem we tend to take glory or to give glory to who is not even who don't even know you forgetting those who help you to rise so the answer to your question is seek for a mentor seek for a reliable mentor in the field that you want to pursue okay the field you want to pursue look for a reliable mentor and make sure you stick to the mentor some of you if you just chat someone one two times do you know how many times you take it before you you get to hook up with a mentor it takes you many attempts you don't just try one or two times then you forget about the person say the person no you don't do like that most mentors like me i review i review up to 50 persons mostly in a day when you are starting up as a designer find someone to cling into cling on to okay you must have an altar where you will pay respect for. see it's not just about clinging to your mentor sometimes you can buy him recharge cards so he's not because your your mentor have a lot of money then you believe that no he's also mentoring mentoring other people okay for you to get closer then you need to prove to him that you are your his time is spending with you is worth it don't just go for free free mentorship find a mentor cling to him send the mentor your review on daily basis send mentors your review okay sir this is the design i make today or sir before some people don't even know how to ask for review politely if you want to ask for review don't just send images and send your review no say ask for review no what you do you ask for the mentor say sir please i made a design today i don't know if i should share it i don't know if you have the time don't be so pushy don't get into your mentor or your, to your teacher or to the person you want to review your work so don't think it is so easily don't to get used to them don't get used to people if you get too used to people you will talk to them anyhow you want you will get to you know you know communicate anyhow don't do that reserve some respect for those who you think are better than you in this field there are actually people who are better than you as one would review me every of my work in my review even if he didn't review that work i will mention his name because it is one or two of his review that led to that so don't take it for granted in the fact that because you you made a design during the period of your mentorship you made a design on your own you didn't even then you don't even mention him show some respect that is what makes him sometimes he remembers you he gets to chat you what's up what are you doing right now what's your project for today you have any project let me see i do that to most of my students i have favorite students i don't pick favorite students because of because of uh, uh, these ones are graded like this no i choose favorite students because of the respect they bring one and also because of the value they bring you don't expect just mentors to bring in value to you when you yourself don't bring value to them you get so also learn to get values to your mentor and by so doing your mentor also get values to you what other way do you want to prove yourself you want to pay him me i told my students don't pay me i don't need your money say you want to pay me for mentorship i don't need your money because if i start charging these people and i'm not charging this people it seems somehow and you see at the end of the day it seems like this whole thing of not charging is looking so stupid doesn't even make sense because you need to show the proof you need to show the value that you value this tutorial you value this lecture that you're learning that's just it you value the time the person is putting into it you value the energy after talking after talking people are exhausted people are tired so that your mentor doesn't need anything from you doesn't mean that they don't need your respect the value you can bring in many ways you can mention them anywhere you can do that keep reminding them about you if your name keep lingering in their mind why wouldn't why why wouldn't they remember you why wouldn't they find it easy to review your work someone will just bounce out from nowhere where i don't even know just send a couple of images into my inbox say i should review the first chat please review this sir you send images i don't even know you i've not even greeted you know so find a polite way the best for you best practice for you to ask for reviews and also find a mentor that's the answer to your question find a mentor this time around you need a mentor 
You can't do it on your own. Believe me, you can't. You can't learn design on your own and make it without being discouraged. You will get frustrated along the line. You need someone who is beyond what you are. You need someone who has what you have. You and you need someone who is ready to give it to you. But to have a personal mentorship is very difficult. It might not be him. You might get for your design. It might be someone else. If it is him, that's the best too. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why I like Josh. Why I like Josh is that I have watched most of his tutorial. Okay? He is very truthful to you. His spirit and my spirit works in line. Okay? I like saying, if you watch most of my tutorial too, I will tell you the truth. I don't hide anything. I will give you all facts. Give you all reasons. Give you all, all research possibilities for that particular tutorial. He is very open to you guys. He is very, very open. And he's a very good mentor to emulate. He's a very good uh, a role model to follow up so when you follow him follow these guides I gave you you see it becomes easy for you to learn find a mentor cling to the mentor know what the mentor needs your mentor might, like me my own my own is not money okay another person's own might be money whatever your mentor needs give the person give your mentor what they want they will give you what you want that is that is what this life is about Okay, if they want your support, give them. If they want you to praise them, to communicate, if you, if they want to communicate their name in your. Pro- Some designers, why they fail is this: they want to take all glory. You know, you make design, you want people to know that you're the one who made the design. You don't take the glory. That's not what you should be chasing after now. What you should be chasing after now is to make sure you understand the principles behind what you are doing. Understand it first. You are not the one who is going to give glory to yourself. People you teach will give glory to you. So when you don't give glory to your mentor, people you teach also won't give glory to you. Mention them. They are not going to take your customers away, my dear. That, that you mention your, your mentor doesn't mean he will take your customer away. No. Keep doing what you are. See, if you are good at what you are doing, I don't care about who you mention. Once I see your work, I don't even read much of what you are typing. If you are good, I communicate with you. And that's why business, that's how, okay, if, if it is about mentorship, most of my work I have published online, most of my web design, well, I moved a little bit from graphics to web. So most of my web design I probably wouldn't have gotten me a lot of projects. I got a couple more projects in the couple of, that's why I've been very, very stressed up. And I've been setting up more systems, because most of my students, I have to train them so that they will be good. If they are good in this, they, are, they have to follow up and, you know, do more jobs because many, many projects are coming up. So that is just it. They don't communicate my mentor. Even if they communicate my mentor, it's okay. Since he's my mentor, let me communicate with him and get the job. That is not the only client you're going to meet. Let it be. Give glory to glory. Stop taking glory to yourself. Take this time to learn. Forget about glory. Don't glorify. Don't make people praise you. How many likes you get on Facebook or Instagram, that, that doesn't matter. Keep publishing your work. Keep posting it. Okay, even if it's not good enough, keep posting it. Now, you don't have idea on how to come up with a creative idea concept, but you have a mentor to watch his work. You have a mentor to watch his tutorials. Why not follow those things? That's the way to get concept. Okay, most of the works I have seen Josh prepare, most of his tutorial, most of them are clean, precise to these tools and how to use it. There is difference between teaching you how to make a flyer design and how to use the tools to make flyer designs. He teaches you the both. So learn from that. Don't say you are waiting to get creativity. Creativity doesn't come in an ounce. It doesn't come at a time. It doesn't come on a blow. Creativity is something that comes gradually. Okay? And it builds. You need to build it. It builds gradually. So follow up. Watch. Do one step at a time. Show to your mentor. If you don't have time, show him next time. Don't get angry because he didn't review your work today. You get angry. He's do he's he's he have pride. Don't do that. Who will get to this level that won't have pride? Even if it's something that he's supposed to do, is pride not supposed to be one of the attributes of a professional? But still, we are humble so that you guys will learn. So that new persons in this industries will learn. Show your commitment in one way or the other. Show the value that you can bring. Show value you can bring. Don't just come empty-handed to somebody. See, you don't go to a king empty-handed. 
if you want to, if you want something from a king, you go with a gift. The king have everything that you need, but why still will you need to go with yam and pan wine, another gift to the king? Because that is respect, and that makes the king listen to you. Learn that principles. Please subscribe to his YouTube channel with the very first link in the description. Next on my list, make use of inspirational tools like Pinterest, Behance and Instagram to inspire yourself daily. Here is what I do. Most times I run out of design ideas and guess what? I have a lot of people on these platforms I follow that can help me get back to track. Running down to their page and feeding my eyes with some cool designs can give me tons of inspirations. And don't get me wrong, never copy another person's design. Just get the idea and study their concept and come up with a unique and brand new concept. Last but not the least, get familiar with websites that supplies you with resources you will need to ease your design workflow. I have a comprehensive ebook that has information about all resources you will need to ease your design workflow and it's compiled by me. Check out the link in the description and grab your copy. First 10 people to purchase this will get it at a discounted rate. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Click on any of the video on your screen if you like to learn more graphic design tips.